When I was a kid, these were the first images that came to my mind when I thought about the solar system's planets. They were the pictures I saw, and I still see in books, encyclopedias, documentaries, stickers, and toys. To this day, I still see the planets like that, as static images that never change. But now, over two decades later, a few things have changed. I now know that this photograph of Venus was taken with special filters to look through its thick atmosphere. And in reality, it looks like a featureless white sphere. I also know that Earth's iconic blue marble photograph was originally taken upside down, and that there is no single definitive photograph of Earth, as the planet is always changing. I also remember when Pluto stopped being a bunch of pixels or a blurry sphere. We now see it as a complex world with very interesting geographic features. Recently, I also learned that Neptune is paler than I thought, and those pictures that I grew up with were nothing but lies. My mental model of the solar system has changed a lot over time. And now, I want to talk about another problem I have with some of the pictures of the planets. There is something wrong about one planet in particular. Mars. There are many photographs of Mars. But arguably, this is the most famous. It's the first picture that comes to my mind when I think of the Earth planet. And I don't think that will change anytime soon. It's a unique image, featuring Valles Marineris and its extinct volcanoes, geological features that overshadow Earth's tallest mountains and deepest canyons. But there is something that's not quite right about it. Let's compare it to this other picture. Why is it so different? Why is Valles Marineris so much smaller? The original picture was taken in 1976, and it's not a single picture, but a mosaic taken by the Viking 1 orbiter. The composite image was then modified to represent what the spe spacecraft will see at a height of 2,500 kilometers from the surface. In this diagram there is Mars, and the hypothetical position of the spacecraft. From this height, we are not able to get a full picture of the planet, as the surface itself is blocking the complete view of the sphere. The two tangent lines represent the limits of what we can see from this vantage point. The Hope spacecraft that captured this image in 2021 had a minimum altitude of 20,000 kilometers, almost 10 times higher than the Viking 1 orbiter. This causes Valles Marineris to look much smaller compared to the rest of the planet. The same thing happens with this picture of Earth, the 2012 blue marble. North America looks ridiculously big in comparison, but this is because it is a composite image, with a simulated viewing point placed 2,100 kilometers above Earth's surface. I don't like this picture because it can misinform viewers about the true proportions of the continents. This is worse when these distorted images are used to compare sizes of the planets and countries. This problem also happens with Jupiter. Pictures taken with the Hubble Space Telescope look very different than pictures taken with the Juno Orbiter. The original blue marble, perhaps one of the most reproduced images ever, was taken by Apollo 17 astronauts 29,000 kilometers away from the Earth's surface. You can see that even at this distance, we still don't have a full view of Earth. In fact, an infinite distance is needed to have a complete view of a hemisphere, according to this formula. The angle of the circular section increases rapidly at first, and becomes 90 degrees at infinity. Something similar happens with, the, with your own face when you attempt taking a selfie from up, from up close. You need to distance yourself from the camera to look good. So, are these pictures wrong? Not exactly. We want to take high resolution photographs of the planets to study them better, and that's why we build powerful telescopes to observe them. Sometimes the best way to get high quality images is to get really close. And when we get really close, distortion happens. We just need to take into account the factors that can influence how a space picture looks, the time the picture was taken, what filters were used, and of course, the distance between the camera and the subject. Planets are huge, and unlike faces, it is difficult to notice these kinds of distortions. The animations you see in this video were made with Pantograph, a custom tool I made to animate mathematical drawings using the Lua programming language. 